Hey buddies, I wanted to take a look at how to make this very simple animated kind of starfish in After Effects. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating new composition. I'll go for 10 seconds long, HD TV, 1080-25. Okay, all good. And let's add a star shape to this. So I'll click on my shape tools. I'll select the star tool. I'm going to add a solid fill. And yellow is good. Okay, and uh, for the stroke, I'll go kind of orangey for the outside. Okay, and I'm going to make the stroke maybe, a, yeah, maybe about 20 pixels. Something like that. Oh, not 200. There we go. And I'm going to draw a star shape. Now, when I draw a star, if I hold down the shift key, that'll keep the tip of the star pointing upwards. If I want to change the number of points on the star, I can use the scroll wheel as I'm, as I'm drawing the star. Okay, so I want five. And if I want to change the shape of the star, I can also hold down the command key and pull in and out with my mouse to change the length of those points. So I'll go for something like that. That's my kind of basic starfish shape. There it is. Okay. So, I want to change a few things. I'm going to change the shape first. So I've got to polystar path. I want the edges, the tips, to be uh, rounder. So I'll, the outer roundness, I'll do that. Something like that. And the inner roundness, I might just fatten that out. Or maybe maybe the inner radius I'll fatten out a little bit. Okay, and so we can we can kind of change the overall shape with this. Okay, that's probably that's what I'm kind of going for. Something like that. Okay. So I'd like these arms to have a little twist. So I'm going to go to add in the shape layer menu and add a twist. Okay, and that'll twist. And what I'd like this twist to do is kind of jiggle about a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to open up the uh, the transform here and just open this up, twist one. Okay, and the angle there, you see that. So what I'm going to do to this is add a little wiggle. I'm going to alt click on this stopwatch and add wiggle there it is wiggle let's say 0.5 so quite a slow wiggle maybe by comma maybe by 30 let's try that all right so that's just wiggling about there just jigging about so that's quite nice maybe you know if I want to change the number I can, I can take this if I want it, if I want it to be uh, less there we go I can just uh, there we go. Maybe I'll make it a little less. Maybe a little. Maybe just a little more subtle. Just Twenty. There we are. Just jigging about. There we are. Okay. So I can also add to this. I want it to just uh, kind of float about on the screen. So I'm going to add a wiggle transform. Okay. If I open up the properties here. I've got some options so at the moment. Okay, it's not really doing anything. So I'm going to transform uh, the speed. I want it quite slow. So I'm going to have again uh, 0.5. Okay, and I'm going to transform just uh, maybe have it rotate by like a, a few degrees. Just sort of just rotate a little bit as it's wiggling about, and maybe the position. Maybe again, say 30, 30, both horizontally and vertically. So now it's just kind of floating about. So it's just giving it that little, little gentle movement as it floats about underwater. All right. Now, if I want to get these as kind of little hairs, what I will do is go. So. Here we go. I'm going to open up the uh, contents, Polystar 1. And if we go to the stroke, I'm going to add some dashes by hitting open up stroke 1. There we go. And I want the dashes just to be on the outside. So if I actually take the fill here and move that on top of the stroke, that'll quickly do that. Okay. And I'd like the dashes to be a little smaller. Kind of like that. And maybe a little more spaced out. So if I hit the plus key again, a little plus sign here. I can change the gap, okay, so I can have them maybe something like that. 
Okay. And I'm going to also add to this, if I open up this new feature, Wave, which has just been introduced. I'm going to give it a little, add a little okay, waviness to these, make it a little more organic. And I'd like those to kind of ripple about. So if I change the phase, you'll see they'll, they'll just move a little. Okay, so rather than add keyframes, I'll put an expression on this. I'll put the time expression on this. So let's say time and shift eight will give me the multiply sign. Let's do uh, 30 perhaps. So every second, this number will advance by 30 and that'll just get those edges kind of rippling about. Okay. So now I just need to add a background to this. So I'll go and do a new solid. Got kind of dark blue color, that kind of worked okay. Drop that to the bottom layer. Okay, I'm gonna go into my uh, effects and presets and just choose, just type in the search bar bubbles. There it is, drop that on here. And there we are, got a nice little, little starfish there. Okay, so it's great in After Effects the way you can kind of take a basic shape Okay, and really just uh, play about with it and make it into something more complicated. So there you go, and thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers.